In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take a bitmap like this and reduce its colours. Quite often a, um, a client might come to you with, an with a piece of artwork like this that's made up of, as you can see, millions of colours here, uh, lots and lots of shades of blues and uh, greens, and when I go into wireframe, you can see it's just an image. I mean, I can't cut this, I can't do really much with it other than print it out, which is fine if that's what you're doing, but if you want to cut this out of vinyl, you really do need to uh, reduce the colour count. You come up here and click on Reduce Colours, and that brings up this module here and you'll see there's an option here reduce color count this allows us to reduce the number of colors down to 16 here and if I click apply you'll see what happens it tries to adjust millions of colors down to 16 and it does a very good job of it now I can click optimize uh, to get the program to try different variations and depending on the image I'll get different results if I uncheck fast sa samples here what happens is, and when I click optimize, is the program goes to a lot more trouble and it takes a lot longer. And again, depending on the image, you'll get completely different results. Um, and you need to experiment with that. Now I can adjust this down to say 13 colors or 11 colors, etc., and see what different effects I get. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking a multi-million colored object uh, or bitmap and turning it into eight colors or 16 colors like so. Once I'm happy with what I've got, uh, you know, something like this is fine, I can then click the accept button here and that loads it back into the designing area. Now it's still an image and obviously I, I can only print this out at this point in time. So an example of what you can do with this is click on the vectorizer and vectorize this image like so. You set the colors that you've got there to match the uh, colors that are in the object, so at the moment there's eight of them. And we can set all these sorts of settings here. There's a lot you can do in the vectorizer. I recommend you watch its uh, lesson to see the different things you can do. Obviously, this is just an example I've chosen to give you a, an idea of what you can do. Now, once that's done, you can see now this is cuttable. And if I ungroup it, I can show you what I mean by that. I can move a piece off and then put it back to where it was. But basically, I can now cut this out um, and I could create a logo from it. Again, this is just an example just to show you the sorts of things you can do. Obviously, the artwork you'll be working with will be very different. But the point is, if you've got coloured artwork that you need to have turned into a uh, into cuttable artwork, the reduced colour count's a great way of doing it uh, using the vectorizer. So that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.